WROI News, streaming live at WROIFM.com. This is WROI News. Ninety-two point one WROI. It's time now to take a look at your local news. News today is brought to you by Wendy's Restaurant, twenty-three forty South Main, Rochester. Wendy's is way better than fast food. It's Wendy's, and by Rochester Greenhouse. Send a fresh cut flower bouquet today and make someone's day. Currently sitting at 81 degrees under sunny skies here in downtown Rochester. We'll have a look at your full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. United States Senator Joe Donnelly was our guest on WROI. The president is expected to announce his nomination for the U.S. Supreme Court soon, and we asked Senator Donnelly for his thoughts. We have an advise and consent role that the president will send us a nominee. We'll look closely. I'll look closely at it. And what I said is, I met with the president last Thursday, and when I was with him, I said, Mr. President, what you need to do is nominate somebody who's moderate and common sense in the mold of a Justice Kennedy. And I said, if you do, I think you can get a really significant number of votes. If this goes to someone who's got an extreme position one way or the other, I think that that would really tear the country apart. And so I told him, I said, I'm I'm hopeful that you'll Pick somebody moderate who is reflective of the common sense tradition of Indiana, the Midwest, and and our nation, and I remain hopeful with that. Donnelly went on to talk about how Supreme Court justices can change over time and alter their positions from where they began. As the world changes, people's views change. If you look at a Justice Souter, who was a Supreme Court justice, when he reviewed cases, you know, what he was expected to be at the beginning and what he was at the end, you know, as the old saying goes, life happens, and you start to realize all the different things that people go through, the challenges they face, and it can change how you look at things in your judicial philosophy. And again, that was United States Senator Joe Donnelly. You can hear that interview in its entirety on our webpage at WROIFM.com. Fulton County Commissioner's President Brian Lewis was our guest on WROI. The commissioners and county council have been working on funding mechanisms for the county's jail project, with the state having okayed part of the revenue that will be needed, and Lewis talked about how the rest of the funding will be raised. You know, the council's going to, they're going to start the process on the other two tax increases. We'll have public hearings and, and, and go through okay. that process. And the council wanted to hold off to see, and the commissioners agreed, to see if the towns in the city will pitch in and help the community out. I mean, right. it's basically, it's the taxpayer we're trying to look out for here. And this is not something anybody wants to do. We do not want to build a jail. And, and, and it's sad that we've got to spend, you know, 20, 22 million dollars on a, on a jail facility when, It'd be nice to be able to use that for something for the community and and, and the betterment of it. Lewis said the overcrowding numbers at the current jail make the project an imperative for the county. They're they're staying high. You know, DLZ last year did a jail study for us, and they projected that in 2040, you know, know, I think the state... They're, I'm not sure how they get their percent or their their numbers, but there's like an increased population of 3% a year. Well, you know, they, they said in 2040 we would have potentially 128 inmates in our jail. Well, we're we're all over that right now. And again, that was Fulton County Commissioner's President Brian Lewis. We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this. And now for something deliciously different from Wendy's. Wendy's Double Stack is still an option in the 4 for 4. With a quarter pound of fresh beef, four nuggets, fries, and a drink. That's a deal so good it should not exist. Like how owls shouldn't be able to turn their heads all the way around. Whoo! Wouldn't like that deal. The four for four with your choice of a double stack, junior bacon cheeseburger, or crispy chicken BLT. A deal so great, it's impossibly good, but not for long. At participating Wendy's for a limited time, meal includes four-piece chicken nuggets, small fries, and a drink. Fresh beef available in the contiguous U.S., Alaska, and Canada. Not valid in Alaska and Hawaii. Rochester Greenhouse prides themselves in providing you with excellent customer service for all your flower needs. Planning a wedding? Call them at 574-223-3146 for a free consultation. They specialize in flowers and gifts for every occasion. Right next door, Brooch Boutique is proud to present all the fashion looks that will dazzle all summer long. They offer women's sizes small to plus with new arrivals every day. Gift certificates are available in both stores. That's Rochester Greenhouse and Brooch Boutique, 412 West 11th Street, right off of Main Street. Two stores, twice the shopping fun. 
And again, we're sitting at 81 degrees under sunny skies here in downtown Rochester. Argus is at 80. Logan Sport is at 79. We are going to stay like this the rest of the afternoon. We do see a northeast wind around 15 miles an hour. Tonight, it'll be clear with a low around 53. Tomorrow, sunny with a high near 81. Tomorrow night, we see clear skies and a low around 56. Sunday, sunny, a high near 85, a low around 64. Monday, mostly sunny, a high near 87, and a low around 68. Tuesday, mostly sunny skies, a high near 86, and a low around 64. Again, 79 degrees in Logan Sport, 80 in Argus, and 81 here in downtown Rochester. This has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana. The news today was brought to you by Wendy's. Wendy's hamburgers are made fresh, never frozen, and they're now open late. And by Rochester Greenhouse, corner of 11th and Fulton Streets. They are your full-service hometown florist. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.